and another Assassin's Creed Revelations video. With me today is... Hi, uh, it's, it's that guy. You, you know, that guy. Yeah, that the Templars guy. have retaken their archive on Cyprus. Abbas sent no reinforcements. And we're dropped right amazing. in the middle of... right at the start of the third oh Altair memory. Maria, when we left myself ten years ago, this order was strong. But all that progress has been undone. Uh, Abbas must answer for this. Answer to whom? The assassins obey only his command now. Resist and for those who don't remember, revenge. this woman is Maria the Thorpe, who you first the met world. as the target of, the as the unintentional target of the ninth assassination mission in the first Perhaps. game. But, but Altair let her live, and she ran off, and he met her again when he went to Cyprus, and then a little while later. She gave birth to his first son, I should not take my reason. Right. And it caused a rift that has never fallen. Oh, Assassin's Creed 2. Yeah. That was a great part of Assassin's Creed 2. Yeah, that was pretty neat, I gotta say. Uh, Especially since you can kill the Templars with impunity and they won't attack you. Yeah. Speak reasonably, and reasonable men will listen. Some will. But not Abbas. I should have expelled him 30 years ago when he tried to steal the apple. But you earned the respect of the other assassins because you let him stay. How do you know this? You were not and there. And a bunch of shiftless assassins are having very silent conversations all around Look us. Look at this place. Masyaf is a shadow of its former self. We have been away for a long time. But not in hiding. The Mongol threat demanded our attention, and we rode to meet. And yeah, there's a whole little timeline going on here during this memory that's kind of glossed over in this game. But after this memory is over, I'll bring it up. I sent him a message four days ago. The what happened to Altair later? And Abbas, right? And and there's a whole little Abbas plot line that. It is kind of referred to, but isn't really explicit, so As you I have to kind of do a little supplemental a reading to, to a, figure out what's going on. Does this involve his father or Abbas whatever, though? Yeah, his father he committed suicide, the and then Abbas... Abbas we wasn't told the truth to about why his father we committed suicide, and he assumed together. Altair lied to him about it, so that's why he's not too thrilled with Altair in the first place. Yeah. It's like some random. It's like a Greek tragedy, to be honest. But yeah. And the sword Altair is currently using is the sword of Altair. A series mainstay. Yeah, it was in the second game, Brotherhood, and then this game. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's not in three and four though. No, three and four they moved to the uh, like Washington sword and Jefferson sword, Lincoln sword, which makes no sense, but. Yeah. And then four. I'm trying to remember what the best swords were in four. I don't think there was really. Oh, it was the Dr. Pepper swords, that's right. <laughs> Dr. Pepper sword. Let them speak. We seek the truth about our son's and death. And this guy, the bald headed guy, bald headed guy standing next to Abbas, is actually a named character. An His name is Swami. For revenge. And uh, I'll if go the into truth gives us an excuse, we will act on it. Stuff after the memory. Surrender the apple, Altair, and I will tell you why Q your ball. son was put to death. Yeah, pretty much. Ah, the truth is out already. Abbas wants the apple for himself, not to open your minds, but to control them. You have held that artifact for thirty years, Altair, reveling in its power and hoarding its secrets. It has corrupted you. Very well, Abbas. Take it. What? This couldn't possibly be a Before trap. Before I executed your son, I told him you ordered it yourself. He died, believing you had betrayed him. Ah! El Tayer! El Tayer! No! Oh boy, here comes the killing. And quite a bloody kill on Swami there. I'll tell you, like, pierce his jugular or something. Just blood all over the place. That was more of an Ezio thing to do. 
Kill him! Take the apple! No! Now it's time just to get the hell, the hell out of here. Why couldn't this be one of the, f the uh, my favorite? Just use the fucking apple just to get out of whatever the fuck you're doing <laughs> missions. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the one where it's like, yeah, I'm, I've got the super weapon and I'm just gonna fucking use it. But yeah, if you'll notice, Altair currently has two hidden blades, which is a design he came up with while he was on the road. Right. He hasn't. Doesn't have a whole lot of except for the sword of Altair. Yeah, I was gonna say he doesn't have the pistol yet. But nope. The uh, pistol modification to the gauntlet. It's even more exciting if people are actually chasing you. Yeah, then no one's Father, actually there. It's I got your message. Real sense of yeah. What's happened? That him! Turn him back! Have they all gone mad? We have to go. Abbas must not get his hands on the apple. I think he's six years younger than. If you need more uh, knives, Seth take them. Was. Right. Uh, he's Above the only you. one of Altair's sons to survive. Except, I think it's Seth down. did have a few children before he Where died. And I don't think Darim had any, but uh, he's gone. So, uh, he's the I'm sorry. Desmond was probably a, a eventual descendant of Seth. How? Oh. Yeah. Later. First, we fight. This mission is kind of weird because it tells you to stick really close Brother, to Darim, and it fight. really means Forget that. If you're like, They've been if you are lies. not that far away from him, you will desynchronize. It's really cool how close you actually have to be. Ugh. Like, he could run in the opposite direction for, like, a second and a half and he'll be synchronized. Mm. It's really weird. It's a shame, I, you know, you have to escape with him. Is not, you could just, like, on the, just run across a few walls and be done with it. Find the haystack, hide in it. Yeah, he's pre still pretty close to me, but look how I was targeting is flipping out there. Anyway, yeah, Watch I wasn't out. really that far from him, but it still kept me, to, it uh, still nearly desynchronized mm. me. And at the very least, you have like 99 fucking drawing knives, which is... Well, I have unlimited, since I've thrown a few and didn't decrease them. So this part is pretty simple, but the only real trouble is sticking close no. to him. Man! Is you like to let them catch us! Me. Yeah. And since your enemies are assassins, they'll uh, hide up on rooftops and try to air assassinate you. Except it's Was not it a boss who killed my brother? Yeah. It just does a lot he of damage. He killed your brother, Malik, and countless others. And, he is a madman. Another kind of neat thing about this a mission is that there's no additional objective. You will die. One day you will. You just need to get out. Unlike, yeah. Fight you just have to side. complete the mission. Oh, you could have thrown somebody into some scaffolding there. That was a missed, missed opportunity. Indeed. There is no watch! You're in a goddamn town in the middle of fucking <laughs> nowhere. I was considering letting Durim have that kill, but he's wasting my time. They even have smoke bombs, and there's guy. A crowd of dudes here, and I'm waiting for one of them to do the special pouncing attack on me, which I will show off in a little uh, wait a few moments. Yeah, you'll see it coming up. It's, they run up on you. Oh, uh, like uh, uh, just jump on top of you. Right, like the usual running assassination. That's a nice touch. Yeah. He is. Watch that guy running at me. There you go. <laughs> wow, that actually did do a bit of damage. Yeah. I've got you. It is time to go. I wish I, on one of my previous recordings of this mission, I did manage to nail someone when they were in mid jump, and I'm disappointed I didn't do it on this one. I will have the apple, Altair, and I will have your head. For all 
all the dishonor he brought upon my family. And while it you doesn't say where about where of the year and Durim are running are running lies. away to, they're going to Alamut in its northwestern Iran, which is the previous site of course of the assassins. Well, I'm sure we'll be back sometime later. We will. Okay, so the whole storyline going on here, it starts in 1176 when Saladin was besieging Masyaf. Uh, Abbas's father was captured and reveals Altair's father, Umar, uh, was responsible for one of the deaths, for one of the, for the death of one of Saladin's generals. Umar is executed, and then as a result of that, Ahmad uh, Sofan, which is, who is Abbas's father, commits suicide in Altair's room right in front of him. And Abbas hasn't told the circumstances of why he killed himself uh, on Al Muallim's murder. And then, sometime later, Abbas and Altair were training, and Abbas tried to kill Altair over it. So, uh, Altair says that Abbas, his father, committed suicide. And Abbas but, doesn't uh, believe that. Yeah, Abbas doesn't believe that. And then Altair says he was lying about that, uh, even though he knew the truth. And then in 1189, you have the events of the first Altair memory in this game. Uh, Abbas is not very happy that Al Mualim has, has a bunch of favoritism towards Altair. Two years later, you have the events of the first game and the second Altair memory. And then Altair heads to Cyprus to deal with the Templars there and leaves Malik in charge of the order when he's gone. Four years later, Altair's son Seth is born, and then in 1217, uh, Altair, Maria, and Durim, who had been who was born, I think in 1205, I think, he was born, and then uh, Malik is in charge of the order while the three of them are away. In 1226, Seth is killed on Abbas's orders, and Malik is imprisoned, who is who Abbas managed to pin the blame on. And as a result of that, Abbas took control of the assassins, and then, like we just saw in 1228, Altair returned to Masyaf and discovered his Malik was in prison. Malik reveals that Abbas had Seth executed and framed Malik for the deed. Altair frees Malik and brings him back to their residence, and then the events we just saw happened. <coughs> so yeah, basically, Abbas has huge father-daddy issues, which... Uh, revolve around Altair. Mm. And here I'm going through a bunch of bios that popped up in the Altair memories. Yeah. Outside of course. And our first heavy weapon, the Merovingian axe. Oh boy. I haven't shown any of the heavy weapons off, but the first thing you need to do to actually get them is to buy a sheath from the tailors, right. which allows you to carry them around. Yeah. And I forget, if Revelations has the ability to carry around at least a heavy weapon plus a sword, or... It just takes place with your normal melee wagon way. weapon yeah. plus yeah. your, like, uh, light melee weapon, you like the dagger. Or, or, and the neat thing it can do with the heavy yes. weapon is to <laughs> knock clearing off the roof. Yes. Yeah. Ouch. An axe right in his head. Uh, it's still sharp. And, yeah, and if you kill someone with a heavy weapon, you can go over to their body and take it out. But if for some reason the heavy weapon glitches out of existence, you can go to a weapon shop and get it back for free. Right. So it's not like you have to buy it again. So. Yeah, th those always... It'll be, a, you know, I'm starting to think of Assassin's Creed 4, and it's like the first game where you don't actually get a heavy weapon slot, so you can't just do that. And I, that's, I didn't actually remember that. That's, you don't get that's... a heavy weapon I mean, for 4, you don't get the heavy weapon slot, but you can grab an axe off a guy, but you have to grab it off one of the... You have to grab it off an enemy, and you can't keep it... But they do—they yeah. do keep the special attack in Assassin's Creed. 4. Yeah. 
And the thing with heavy weapons usually is that you can grab them, it's just you can't use them for very long, and if you start moving faster than walking, uh, you drop it instantly. Right. Like if you start sprinting, you'll just drop it automatically. Okay, now you're gonna look try to blend in as a Janissary. Yeah, this is a very we'll be seeing a lot of Janissaries in this video. And you know how we were kind of confused why there was like an assassin icon minus 15% on the stores last video? Oh no, I knew that. Uh, no, actually I don't remember that at all. <laughs> but that could yeah, just be well, me. That would be because well, you control the district so you get a 15% discount. Yeah, I, yeah, that's... See, I was recording the latest video, sequ all of sequence 7, and uh, I noticed there was a... when I was getting something from a tailor shop that there was a Templar icon plus 15%. And if you haven't pieced it together, that means if the assassins control a district, you get a 15% discount on everything. But if the Templars control it, you pay 15% more. And that's solar there is to it. Right. And it, that kind of makes you wonder how exactly the assassins are like a really secret organization. If all they have to do to get like a... If they can just go to a shop and get like a 15% discount, do they just like have a membership card? Or <laughs> is it... Uh, how, how does that work exactly? I said, I'd, I'd like to go. I'd like to go to the grocery store. It's like, hey, yeah, you know, the assassins own this place, fifteen percent off. <laughs> well, if you want a serious answer, I guess the Templars are corrupt merchants, and they charge the ordinary people more. Mm. But then why does it show up as a discount? I don't know. Oh, uh, so there's. Get him. There's Which one's the official, and that's. Get down, now. I think I yeah the Turks started fighting the <laughs> Templars and the corrupt officials. So I think they did my dirty work for oh me. Oh my god, they actually took fifty percent off your bar. <laughs> yep. Damn. It is pretty easy to stay out of the red in this game. Yeah, I except you, there's no wanted poster, so yeah, there's the town heralds everywhere that you can just bribe, bribe for, and then you can steal your money right back from. Them. Always oh, my favorite thing to do. <laughs> yeah. Not gonna lie. Aside from pickpocketing someone into the water, that's pretty funny too. Except it doesn't work as well in Assassin's Creed 4 since guys can actually swim that's in that not game. That's a legal move. Yes. It is a European variation. Aroko. It's interesting. But that not is a exactly pretty fancy chess. When you play by different yeah. rules than your well, opponent. his father is the Sultan or grandfather's. Yeah. You may think yeah. differently when you are Sultan. Shall I take it back? Suleiman, I know it has been hard on you watching your father and me quarrel over the I mean, look at those throne. chess pieces. Yeah. Grandfather has chosen you, and his word is canon. What is there to argue about? Your father he and is I a wise man. I mean, Solomon is a very wise man. But his cruelty and ambition yeah. have made. I have. I mean, I do like they put so much detail into a well, chess set. Yeah. That you only see I in this mission. With the vizier soon. Shall we continue another time? Whenever you like. And Mr. Fancy walks off. Ezio. Tarek has been selling guns to a local miser, Manuel Paleo Logos. Paleo Logos. That is a sad sound. The last Byzantine emperor was Constantine Paleo Logos. If his heir is arming a militia of some kind, this conflict will escalate. You know, I gotta know say, I don't the like the Mamluk armor that much. It kind of makes that see you appear a little chunky. It's just the way the armor looks makes yeah. it a lot bigger. In their yeah. So if you want to get close, you will have Stupid to be question one about armor, but your latest round of glitches in this game. Does that lock you out of getting the, be the best armor in the game? Get the information you need. Oh, uh, the armor you get Thank in the Hagia Sophia? Yeah. Oh, no. You're right. Are you sure? I'm thinking of the other one. You Shit. told me Tarek and your father were close friends. Yeah, the armor in the Hagia Sophia is the better one this anyway. This is true, so. but such naked yeah. teasing against my grandfather. I don't remember what the death. second set was. Can you refresh me? In Daisy. That's the. I'm trying to remember what the hell it looked like. I, I remember that the, the highest Sophia said better. Damn it! Now I gotta go look it up. Okay, now this mission, 
The additional objective is a little vague. It says assassinate a target from a hiding spot, but it doesn't mean just any target. The area where you're going... You have to assassinate the coward Kepler captain. No, yeah, <laughs> you have to assassinate him. Anyway, the area where the mission tells you to go has a single janissary wandering around and a bunch of elite guys who are who swing with, like, maces around and stuff in battle. Anyway, um... It says to assassinate a target from the height from a hay bale, but it doesn't it doesn't really mean that. It means you have to kill the janissary himself from the hay bale. So if you kill an elite guy, and then you just kill the janissary normally and put him in the hay bale, you will fail the additional objective. So it is a little misleading. At least it is in a restricted area. Yeah. That jerk ass Janice here just like pushing that guy around. Ooh. He's not in a very good mood right now. No. But yeah, you have to somehow lure the Janissary over to this hay bale and then kill him from it to 100% the mission. Except there's a lot of elite guys wandering around too. So you pretty much need some manner of bomb to get him over here. Like so. I'd love it if he just like. Oh, it wasn't it. And it's yeah, it's kind of goofy too, since if they start poking the hay bale and you jump out of the hay bale, nothing bad will happen. Yeah, because but if at the same time, normally they only ever do that in a restricted area, so yeah, it's weird. Little AI, little AI manipulation trick for you. But if they poke the hay bale and you come out as a result of the poking, you will get spotted. Yeah, I don't remember what it looks like. Shit. Yeah, it's yeah, it's not a bad idea to thin out the number of elites wandering around, and you can use them as bait. Oh, he's going to go try to poke the hay barrel. Yep. But there's nobody in the hay barrel. But now there is, and now he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> that worked out pretty well, I gotta say. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. I mean, I didn't expect it to work out like that, but, you know, whatever. Uh, and that wouldn't have happened if they actually did make it a restricted zone. They would have fucked you up, fucked that entire plan up completely. Mm. Now you look, oh, now you look like a Janus, that's right. Yep. Uh, and we get to do a couple Janissary-like things on the way to Janissary encampment. Sing a bard song? Selim understands our plight. Unfortunately, the no. The Byzantines, the Mamluks, the Safavid. Only he has the courage to face these threats. But yeah, the guy was talking about the Mamluks and the Safavids. The Safavids ruled what's now Iran at this point in history, and the Mamluks ruled Egypt. So why has our Sultan chosen a cat over our lives? citizens of Constantinia. A servant of our Sultan has shares fallen the at the hands of a criminal and been stripped they of his garments. They are too much alike, I feel. Be on the lookout for any suspicious activity. Woe betide the murderer who took the life of a beloved genocide. This enemy of civilization must Now we've conquered another city. Oh wait, there was a, uh, I was gonna say, custom herald messages. messages. Shame on you, Arcatla. Yeah, I think that guy... I think that's a unique herald message for this mission. Yes, 
Yeah, just throw, throw, throw him into. Oh, wait, if you throw him into the scaffold, then I would kill him. <laughs> just slam him to the ground. That'll teach him. Now, is that something you can repair over there? Get out of here, no, you know Yeah. <laughs> These guys are such dicks, man. Yes. He is like a moth hovering around an open flame, waiting Yeah, anytime you see that weird little icon so with three the prongs floor. in the ground, that's a monument you can buy. Oh, okay. Yeah, Did you hear? He offered Tarek a sum of money in exchange for our loyalty. Alright, they have the same God brother. Damn. What am I thinking of? You could buy the Pantheon Coliseum. Kardesh yeah. Larim. One of our own was found murdered and stripped of his garments not an hour ago. His body dumped like a mound of rubbish. Keep a close watch on these streets as you move about. Someone is planning to strike in our name. We must be ready. Somebody who is right behind me. <laughs> okay, here's a unique thing. If you... Obviously at the end of the mission you have to kill Tarek. Do but you have any if you get into the little arena where he is, and then uh, you can fight him head to head, and you'll get a unique message as he taunts you. But if you kill him that way, you fail the additional have you met objective. Selim so Jean let's do it right this time. But I just found thought that was a neat little detail that if you get close enough to Tarek without uh, getting everyone aggressive on you. Uh, you get that little Not a boy, neat thing. But a young man. Anyway, yeah, they uh, noticed yeah. the blood stains on the uh, your robes. I guess. Does so. he take after his yeah, father? for this mission, the elites wandering around Let they will spot you if they look if they're looking at you for too long. But the Janissaries won't, so you can blend in with the Janissaries. Aren't the Janissaries easily. supposed to be the more elite age group of people anyway? Yeah, they're supposed to be, but. That guy's standing on a pillow, so they're not that good. Anyway, um, yeah, the Janissaries won't spot you, the other guys will, so you have to move around them. No, no, he's still a fighter. Look at the army he has raised against them. This wasn't the uh, type of dancers I, I hoped to hire. No, this is, this is bad. But the weird thing is that normally the Janissary camp is an area you can just wander around in normally. Yeah. The Janissaries won't do anything about it. Yeah, it normally isn't restricted. They just kind of get... They might get... There's just a lot of them, so they can get a little pissed off, but... Yeah. I mean, if you do anything to piss them off while in the camp, you've got, like, 20 Janissaries on top of you in a few seconds. And that's when you throw the, the uh, deterra bomb out and start a dance party. Yeah, you just get a, a mosh pit, as the trophy list calls it. No, nope, nothing strange here. Nothing. Just hanging out on this, just hanging in there. It seemed that Elite standing over there glitched out because he's normally supposed to patrol this area. Oh, uh, and he's gonna come back and you could drag him into the well. No, he's just standing there. Just he glitched out, I guess. But you can also dive into these little tents from either side and emerge from either side. And they also act as a hiding spot you can kill people from. Now I've got two guys standing in front of the area where we need to go, so we need to get them out of the way. Well, just hope nobody checks the tents. I think personally, when I did this mission, I kind of just went up the uh, the ladder on the wall, but I guess that's what I Yeah, a yeah there's you. another way you can get into this area of the camp, <laughs> along the walls. <laughs> but I don't chose to do it slightly well, faster right in Cappadocia, where Manuel has garrisoned his army. And our men, are they still with him? Evet. They will contact us when the Byzantines decamp. Then we will meet them when they reach Bursa. Everything is falling into place, Effendim. Evet. For once. Yeah, 
we need to kill Tarek while he's busy watching of the Janissaries fighting with each other. Are you sure he's not a coward, Tarek? Like, <laughs> now, as as a Janissary, most of your equipment is locked off, including the poison darts huh. and the hidden gun, I think. So you can't kill Tarek from a distance. Although you might be able to throw a bomb in and kill him. I'm not sure if you can do that or not. Maybe. I, I think the way they want you to do it is to kind of just go up and around and, uh... It looks like there's a path to assassinate him. Yeah. But honestly, air assassinating him isn't that hard. It's just, if you go on the left side of the area, it is it is much harder than the right, since there's only one elite patrol on the right side. What a bit of irony. Is this the result of Suleiman's investigation? You collude with the Sultan's enemies. What did you expect nice, to uh, head here. treachery? Yeah. I blame myself, not for treason. But as I found out when I was replaying this game, because I deleted my last save, if you wear a unique skin in this mission, it'll show up with the Janissary outfit. Uh, what proof do you have of this? Uh, see, here. This will lead you to the Byzantines in Cappadocia. Destroy them but if you can. Tarek was no traitor. You have done well to no. try to kill the Byzantines instead of give me. Uh, working with them. My oh, we killed him at my accident. Oops. Allah, yeah. Redeem the honor we have lost in this fight. But now we need to get the hell out of here since we're right in the middle of their camp and there's about a million guys I'm getting tired who want to form. fight us. When I was replaying the game, uh, this mission, this escape went a hell of a lot worse. They literally chased me about halfway across the city before I was finally able to end their pursuit. Why did you? Not sure. I was trying to get at some fancy. Oh, uh, the dodger. Yep. You won't get through here. You really ever see that? Actually, the gameplay. Think you can run through this yeah, it's not very useful in a gameplay, in most most of the time in gameplays. So if you want to get someone out of your way, there's quite a bit fewer, more convenient kill them. things to do. Yeah, kill them, basically, but it works out pretty well in this mission. Since stopping to fight the Janissaries when they're all coming after you is not a great idea. No. Now this, this is the time you should have uncovered all the uh, Welks in uh, Constantinople, so you could just hide in one and... You done with that. Uh, well, it makes it more exciting to get away as I crash into everybody. Yeah. I love it when... This, this is one of the cases in the game where... In, in the series where either your escape goes really well or it just goes tits up. <laughs> and you I mean, just got... It's like... I mean, this time it went pretty well, but it's just on my replay when I was doing this mission again, it went terribly. They chased me all the way to Topkapa Palace. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Yeah. I've had... Now I'm going to have my revenge on that damned cowardly Templar. Uh, for, oh, oh, and finally, oh, because the game replay. Yeah. Be I was going to say because you uh, replayed the game, so it covered the message, potentially. Yeah. Well, no, I still haven't gotten to the point where I deleted my save, but oh. it's just, the game is going to keep bugging me about killing this guy until I actually kill him. That's this one right here? Yep. No! I like that message. Oh, come on! He wasn't a coward! I, I kind of want to show off the unique kill animations with heavy weapons. Yeah, that's the excuse. Did you show off the unique kill for use of pull arms? I haven't yet, actually. It's not nearly as good as the musket, but that's another story. From 3 and 4. Getting, uh, 
inspiration. But because the musket the musket's literally fucking gun blade. <laughs> I don't think I ever played around with that when I played three and four. Oh, there's some amazing assassinations you can do with it. Especially when you have to go do a dual assassination with it. <laughs> it's like, oh, I've just got to ram it right through a guy's chest and shoot the guy in front of him. Uh, it's kind of a very, very violent man. That's the final den to capture. Now just lock them all down so you never have to do dent now. Dead defense again, but no, no. Can't be that lucky, can I? Well, I can't be that lucky since the damn game. Since on my replay of the game, damn game glitched me out of clearing out one district. You have ruined. Uh, well. I hope the janissaries pluck out your eyes and cut off your hands. Signora, what is troubling you? Those this brutes is one there. Of these six they attacked me in my home and robbed me of my possessions. Please the city. help. Three feet. The acrobat, yeah. The special, the special ones where they like you get like a level two or something assassin instead of like a level one. Yeah, I think these the assassins you recruit from these six missions are the higher. Level. Yeah, I think they're supposed to be the ones that you point to the dens anyway, but that never really matters. So yeah. I owe you my life. But yeah, the heavy weapons has a brutal killing. I must killing ask animations. another favor. Will you follow? I was just smacking those Web guys around. Back to yeah. my shop where these men first set upon me. I fear this they have taken or destroyed everything. This is actually a surprisingly kind of tricky mission because the acrobat does not have a lot of health, and later in this mission you get ambushed by a whole bunch of guys, and they can kill her really quickly. Smoke bombs. I didn't think of using smoke bombs actually. Smoke bombs. I can... okay, I'm gonna believe you because I see a jump cut. Yeah, I failed this mission like five or six times. Yeah. She dies really quickly. Smoke bombs, the thing that nobody ever remembers about Assassin's Creed and you tri completely trivializes combat. I know I do that. Yeah. I mean, it's combat's already trivialized, so what do I... Mm. What do I even really say? <laughs> Just get, get a counter and match the attack button. Unless it's a Janissary and fuck because fuck Janissaries. The only reason Janissaries are kind of hard to kill is because they pull out that stupid pistol, and you can't really take advantage of that because. They are still here. But yeah, yeah. you get you attacked by these? two guys. Get out of my shop. By four guys from two sides, and if they attack her for more than like three or four seconds, they will probably kill her. But here it worked out. Oh. Fred's gonna leave a mark. You have done a great good. I like the one. I like the kill I'm animations sorry, where Ezio hits the guy so hard that he you buries his weapon anything. in their neck, and he has to spend a few seconds pulling it out. Assassins, mm. you are a skilled climber and could learn so much more. Ah, I am grateful for the offer, truly. That's another mission now. The only reason I included this part. Ooh, kill animation kind of failed there. <laughs> the only reason I included this part is because this Fight is the 12th and final assassin. I recruited this place, life. so I finally have a full if I guild. can help others as nice. you have helped me, I most certainly will. Although because of a certain little quirk of the Mediterranean defense mode... You can get um, more. Yeah, you can recruit up to 74 different assassins, I think. That's right, you can stuff them away into different parts of Enjoying the... Enjoying uh, the poem? The different Who cities. These men he condemned yeah. to hell? Political Except I, I haven't really used that this wrong. entire playthrough since I never Alligator noticed that I icon. icon. You know? See, yeah, that... It is a subtle way to seek revenge. One of the very, very many undocumented features of this Excellent. series. <laughs> <laughs> I plan to make a trip to Andrianopoulos. I mean, the game weeks barely mentions it in the first place. I don't think the game even mentions that you can do fun. that at all. It doesn't. It is a five or six day of Yeah, so here. you'll forgive me if I and haven't I taken advantage of that. But Pray the only on. advantage to oh, assigning you are a assigning assassins to cities is that it makes Sophia. the 
uh, recapture the Templars go down slower, my time is running and you can short. increase the that percentage of, of control us. the assassins have on a city. I think the maximum well, you can get without can any assassins in a city now, is 50%, but you can go up to like sundown. 70 or 80 can you wait more guys there? you've assigned to a city. What do you need? It is silly, but a bouquet of fresh flowers. White tulips, specifically. I can get you the flowers. There's some problema. Are you sure? And it we would be a end nice a rather of violent mission Bene. video with Meet me in the a park mission where I don't kill Sofia, anybody and amazingly. We will trade. You have to get flowers. flowers Obviously they're not going to be in stock, so you're going to have to go kill somebody to go get them. And, peel them, and just pick them off their dead corpse. <laughs> or they're being guarded. And the white tulips only grow in one particular spot. And you're going to have to fight your way to get to that spot, killing everybody as you go, or the it'll trigger an alarm when you actually get it there, and you have to fight a whole bunch of monks getting it. Wait, no, that's sorry, that's sleeping dogs. This has to be like the only mission in the entire game where I don't at any point get in a huge melee with a bunch of uh, guards. I mean, it's pretty obvious up to this point in the game, but I am a pretty violent player this game. Well, there was a time Actually, where you were looking for books around the city. I don't think you got into any fights with the guards at that point. You are just kind of just sitting around looking for stuff. Yeah, that's true, but... I don't have many opportunities to fight people from vantage points. Beautiful notoriety. Oh, you. Oh, hey, I did end up killing some people. Oh, well, who cares about these guys? Other. Well, it doesn't matter anyway, he's dead. <laughs> these are the worst recruits ever. Yeah, seriously. He was only two days from retirement. Well, maybe they shouldn't have gotten you in my like way. You look like a man with money that. to spend. What do you need, Dostum? Tulips. White, if you have them. Ah, tulips. Uh, forgive me, but I am fresh out. Uh, something I knew it. <laughs> it is not my call, unfortunately. All right, listen. I may know where to get fresh tulips. You wait here, and I will return. One hour, two at most. I am not waiting an hour. All right, we're gonna go rob some graves. That—that's where the tulips are. They're, he's getting them from the grave sites. What? There actually are graveyards in this game. Yeah. They're not very prominent, but they are there. Those guys seem stuck. Incredible. <laughs> <laughs> it's the little things, I think. Yeah. Why is this guy like so suspicious about where he gets fucking flowers? Yeah, it's not like a huge deal or anything. Maybe it is a huge deal, I don't know. Oh, you almost blew that. Yeah, that was close. And the worst part is that if that group had kept moving forward, I would have desynchronized because I got too close to the guy. You know, you could just bribe him. Yeah, whatever. I'm on a mission. More important things to do. It's like playing GTA and doing a mission with five stars. It's. <laughs> I mean, it makes it more exciting, but sometimes it's just. Especially when you're claiming that this is not a violent mission. Well, we're using our hidden blades to cut flowers now. That's something. Oh, God. Those, those flowers had a family, man. You know, it's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it. I mean,
mean, not every moment of Ezio's life has to be filled with butchering people. No, and she's just butchering flowers. Just listen to that sound. They didn't feel any pain. How do you know? They can't scream. Although I do like the place where you get the white tulips is just about as prominent as place a place as you can get in the city right in front of the Hagia Sophia. Yeah. I don't know why the flower guy couldn't have just told us that. Well, then he wouldn't get his money. Yeah. Climb to the top of the Hagia Sophia. Yeah, we don't uh, have any business there right now. I'm uh, just taking a shortcut back to, uh... Ooh. That is a nice save. That is what I like to have played for, but... Yeah, I love doing that. I love taking these lethal or at least painful dives and then grabbing onto something with the hook blade. I will gladly... That's the palace, right? Took the palace. Right. It's the only place that would be perma red on the map anyway. Yeah. Because they don't like. Yeah, you know, for some reason, the Janissaries don't like us wandering around the royal palace. What is this? A gift. Sit. Che belli, grazie. Hey, wait a second. We only picked three. There's yeah, at least where five. Yeah, two others Thank come for from. Letting me play a small role in your adventure. A small role is enough for oh, we, we mic the flower vendor on his way back. That's what we did. <laughs> you are a we beat him up and threw him through a scaffold. Mi dispiace. I do not and then looted his corpse just it for good fine. measure. È affascinante. Sembra squeezy. You're only get two flowers that weren't crushed Why, by the scaffold. Why, thank you. Any luck with the final code? Ah, the code, see. I solved it many hours ago. You will get it soon enough. And that's another video. Yeah.